if you can tell by the title of this video you already know what we doing today um, I'm gonna start with um, about three cups of this powdered lightener um, in just a little bit you'll see me mix in 20 volume cream developer and um, I went ahead and just added developer as I went um, just to make a creamy consistency you'll see right here so um, I'm gonna add in developer as I go um, just so I can get the perfect consistency we want it to be creamy not chunky or lumpy um, make sure the um, powder lightener is very well mixed um, and then you'll see at the end here um, what it looks like and the consistency that I got it to so it's easy to get um, through you know all the hair strands Um, and mind you, um, I had to do this mixture three to four times. I can't quite remember now. Um, but just to, you know, completely get through all of the hair strands. And plus my mixing bowl was small. So um, as you can see, I'm just spreading that mixture onto the hair. Um, making sure that I get it front, back. Um, you know all coated every strand that I can um, also um, I did put aluminum foil around it to help the processing um, just so it can go a little bit faster um, for the top I wasn't so worried about it because I did want it to have an ombre effect to my roots um, so I'm gonna let you guys keep watching it I did speed it up um, so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing get done with this piece um, you'll see me of course just put the aluminum foil around that piece of hair um, I'm gonna finish off the rest of it and I'll show you guys what it looks like while it was processing so here's how the hair looked 35 to 40 minutes later um, while it was processing um, right before I washed it out I um, washed this hair out with neutralizing shampoo and conditioner um, and shimmer light shampoo just to help with the brassiness of the blonde I did repeat that after I dyed the hair here's how the hair looks after I washed it out 
just so you guys get an idea um, when I created the dye mixture I did mix it with just a regular conditioner so I was able to leave the dye in overnight and um, here's the hair dried and you're able to see you know a little bit better how the mixture you know took to the hair how it processed um, and then I'll show you what it looks like after it is dyed and dried and styled um, and then you guys let me know how it looks um, if you like these types of videos please like comment share and subscribe um, make sure you hit the bell so you never miss one of my uploads and make sure you guys follow me on my social media so be down below and thank you very much for watching this video and i hope i see you guys in my next one bye, -bye. I'm back um if you guys see any strands hanging I did um before I recorded this I kind of trimmed the ends and shaped the hair the way I wanted it but please let me know below how you guys like it because I love it and I'll see you guys in the next one bye